What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install, set up, and use Greenify. Basically, Greenify is an app that hibernates apps. Unlike Titanium Backup, where it freezes apps, it actually hibernates them. So they're there. You have to physically open that app in order for it to run. I found out, like Call of Duty Elite, I found out a lot of apps that I rarely ever use were constantly running the entire time my phone was on, causing my battery life to suck. So I'm going to show you how to get your battery life back. You don't have to reset your phone. You don't have to start from fresh, from scratch or anything like that. It's, it's, it's nothing like that at all. You'll just go to the Play Store and you'll uh, search for an app called Green If I. And it'll look like that right there. Before we go ahead and install it, Let's go ahead and search for Greenify. Now there's a donation version which allows for experimental things and you're basically just supporting the developer. So I highly recommend going ahead and doing it. I already paid $3. I posted on Twitter when I bought it or Instagram, I can't remember. Uh, so I already bought it. That's why it says purchased and then I can click install. Um, but basically on the donation package, whether you donate or not, you'll still need to go to the Greenify donation package and you'll need to go down to the description and press right there and then you'll go down here and you'll see exposed installer basically you'll just press on that and you'll open it with your browser of choice and it'll bring up this page right here and all you need to go do is go down here and go to download and press on that and then choose your browser again and then one more time and now it says do you want to download this file yes I do and in order to install it you'll need to go to your settings and you'll need to go to security and you'll need to go to unknown sources and you'll need to make sure that you check this box right here and I always uncheck verify apps so now when you drag this down and you press on it it'll let you install it so we'll hit next open and then you'll need to click on framework and then you'll need to click on install see mine has nothing right there it's got a little red line through it I don't have anything installed so I'm gonna hit install and then it's going to ask me, do I have root permission? You have to have root in order to do this. And I have a video on how to root your Nexus 5 very easily. So let's go ahead and press soft reboot. So it, it'll take less time for our phone to reboot. All right. So now we're going to go back to the Play Store since we have the exposed framework installed. And we're going to search for Greenify again. And we're going to go ahead and install the donation package. And we're going to go and install the free version. Again, this app needs root. You need root in order to install the exposed framework, and you need root in order to use this app. If you don't know what root is, you should probably go Google root and, <laughs> you know, find out. Basically, you're giving yourself admin privileges of your device. I root all my devices. I don't have a single one that's not rooted. So I, I recommend rooting. It's just, it's, I don't know. You can back up your apps, restore them, and etc. I have a video I posted a long time ago, and I'll remember, I'll try to remember the link to it in the description. But it just basically talks you about all the benefits of rooting and etc. All right, so after being a booger and sitting and installing forever, you'll see this little thing right here. It says exposed module is not active. We we'll need to go ahead and press on that. Um, alternatively, if you don't get that notification, you just go to your app drawer and you find this app called Exposed Installer, and then you go to Modules, and then you check it right there. Now you'll need to reboot your device. So you can go to Framework, and then you can go to Soft Reboot, and you can reboot your device. All right, so now that our phone's rebooted, we need to open up that Greenify app. I know it's hard to see because of my wallpaper, but it's right there. It's a little green leaf. And so we clicked on the experimental version. Basically, you'll need to, if you paid for it, which I highly recommend doing, you'll need to open up the other one and it'll ask for root permission in a second here. Um, hit this little box. And in a second here, it should pop up and ask us for root permission. So we'll need to go ahead and allow that whenever it pops up. So for me, it's been a little booger. So I'm going to go ahead and get it to, uh, it's just basically showing you the hide selected the selected apps so they don't show up in here all the time this is an app that uh, beeps every hour so there's the root permission thing you'll need to go ahead and press grant 
and that's how you'll use the app. The app has got to have root permission. So BBM, um, I don't really use that, but if you do, don't check it. Don't check anything that you use. This is important. Dropbox, for example, that is the GCM, or you go ahead and you press on it. Let me uncheck all these. If you press on it, it'll say, Google Cloud Messaging is integrated into this app. There is an experimental feature. So, and also to get that other um, green of eye icon to go away, you'll just go back and you'll choose experimental features. And I'm gonna go ahead and block the app state abuse and the wake up time tracker cutoff. And also you can greenify system apps. Basically, if you check this little box right here, it'll let you greenify system apps. Like on my Note 3, I greenified S this, S that. I greenified all those apps. Um, again, that's how you'll do it is if you bought the donation version. So we're going to go ahead and back out. And now we're going to hit this little checkbox again. And we're going to go in here and go, Bacon Reader. I never use that. Ever. Uh, BBM. Uh, this is an hourly chime thing, but I don't even think it works. I don't hear my phone ever beep. Clipper is an application I use to monitor my clipboard, so I'm going to keep that running. Now, here's something important. If you use Dropbox in order to upload your pictures to the cloud once you take them, you're going to need to open up the app physically. Like, go to your app drawer, open up the app, and then it will scan and upload pictures if you check it. If you don't check it, it'll keep running. Elite? That's something I never use. I need to just go ahead and uninstall it. Facebook. Um, if you get Facebook notifications, then you'll need to go ahead and not check that. But I don't use Facebook. So I, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Franco kernel updater. I am going to check that because I'm going to manually open the app and search for updates myself. Google Voice is how I keep in touch with everybody. So I'm not going to greenify that. Maps. I'm going to go ahead and greenify that because... Really, the only time I want it running is when I'm actually using it. The PlayStation app, same exact thing. As you can see, ever since I rebooted my phone, these are running in the background, taking up my battery. Skee-Ball Arcade. I need to uninstall that because I don't ever play that either. Let's go ahead and hibernate it. Snap Capture Root. I'm going to go ahead and not do that one because if someone sends me a Snapchat, then I want it to go ahead and capture that Snapchat. It'll it'll capture videos and pictures. So if someone sends you a video and you watched it and you didn't get to see it, you know, all the way, or if they sent you a picture that was one second and you're like, wait a minute, what was that picture? Um, Yahoo Mail. I don't. If I need to check my Yahoo email, I'll go ahead and just press on that manually and open it up. If you rely on this to send push notifications to your device, you'll need to keep it unchecked. So I'm going to check that, that, package buddy, that's something I'm going to manually check myself. Ski ball arcade again, web storage, Wi-Fi web login is actually an app that like, say you go to a hospital or a school and they make you log into the Wi-Fi, that will automatically auto log you in as soon as you walk in the building or get near that Wi-Fi signal. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that unchecked. If you check it, you'll have to manually open up that app to get it to run. Xfinity Connect is where it tells me like who's calling my home phone through my Comcast. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. This is an app that I'm going to check. Dolphin. Drop Sync. I don't, I used to use it, but I don't need more at the moment. Basically, it just syncs a certain folder. Like, you know how in Dropbox on your phone, it, you have to actually manually download or upload something. This is kind of like Dropbox for your computer. So I don't really use it anymore. But if I ever need to, I'll just ungreenify it. Foursquare. That's an app I rarely ever use, and I don't want it sending notifications to my device, and I don't want it running the entire time my device is on, so I'll check that. Basically, any apps that you see, Plume, I like getting notified of new mentions and DMs and stuff like that, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that unchecked. This game, I don't want that waking up my device all the time. Uh, the Twitter app, I'm going to open that manually because I use Plume. Um, my only reason I have Twitter installed is because whenever you reach your API limit with a third-party Twitter app, you have to use their original Twitter app until your time. It's stupid. But Google Wallet, I'm going to open that app up physically, and I'm going to, you know, scan it at McDonald's or wherever you want to use it. So web storage again, YouTube, um, that's an app that I'm going to manually open myself. I don't want it running all the time, so I'm going to go ahead and check that one. Uh, Root Uninstaller Pro, Titania Backup, that's an app that I'm only going to, 
you know, manually open myself. So there goes Yahoo again. And see, we can Adobe Flash Player. Um, well, nah, I, I won't do that one. AI Cloud, I rarely ever use that. If I need to upload something to it, I'm going to open it manually. Obviously, you'll never want to do this Alarm Clock Plus. Um, I also have Extreme Alarm Clock. Um, or what I have a bunch of I've bought in several alarm clock apps trying to figure out which one's the best and I, I really like alarm clock plus It's just been forever since he updated it Amazon that will notify you if your package is shipped and etc. So um, I, I get a lot of packages. So I'll go ahead and keep that unchecked um, And tech Explorer. I'm gonna open that up manually the app store. I'm gonna open up that manually app sync app sync pro uh, bacon reader, barcode scanner, I'm going to open that manually, I'm going to open that manually, that, um, battle log, I'm going to open up that manually, uh, BBM's a messaging app, if you use it, don't greenify it, but I don't use it, burner, uh, busybox pro, uh, call of duty, card locator, this Christmas HD, chrome beta, uh, chrome to phone, I, it's a plugin for Google Chrome, Firefox, there's one called Fox to phone, and I send stuff to my device. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that unchecked. Clipper, I want it monitoring my clipboard the whole time. Data Sync, I'm gonna manually open that myself. Dead Trigger 2, something I rarely ever play, and I don't want it sending push notifications to my device and running all the time. Dice Player, Dolphin, Dragon, Drop Sync, Drop Sync Pro, Dumb Ways, Earn to Die, Earth, Easy Tether, Elite, Epson iPrint. Um, extended controls is something I use. If it's a widget, don't, don't do it. If you hibernate it, your widget won't work correctly. Uh, Facebook, Flash Image UI, Flow, Folder Downloader, Foursquare, Kernel Updater, Full Screen, Game Guardian, Game Killer, Game Fly, Game Stop. Um, this is an app that lets me, like, when I, when I do that right there, it doesn't launch Google now. So, oh, Okay, anyways, so what I was trying to get to before I messed that up is you'll check the ones you want to check, and you'll hit this little box right here that says a check mark. Now you'll see when you first open up Greenify, here's all the apps that you have hibernating. So when you very first open Greenify every, every time you open it, you'll see this screen right here. And to add apps to it, you'll hit this little plus button, and you'll go through here, and you'll choose like Elite, Facebook, Kernel Updater, Maps, PlayStation app. See, all these with time next to them, 805, 917. That's how long those apps have been running. Yes, those are running the entire time your phone's on, like skee-ball. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this little button right here. And it's going to also hibernate those as well. Now, uh, the other one is for like BBM, for example. If you don't want that showing up every time, hit this one right here. Now it's hidden. Um, this one, hide that one. Uh, Dropbox and Clipper, hide those. So those won't show up anymore when you go press the plus button. Now to enable the hidden, uh, I think you'd go to here and you press that and you, oh, show all. Okay. So basically this app is amazing. I installed this on my Nexus 5 and as you can see with all these apps installed, I wasn't getting very much battery life at all. I was very upset with my battery life and uh, all these that are hibernated will not run without you physically going to the app that you did like Call of Duty Elite, opening it manually yourself. Then it's running, it's working just fine. When you close out of it, it's going to be hibernated and it's not going to be allowed to run the entire time your phone's on. So Greenify, what I was trying to say is my phone would get very, very warm, like almost hot to touch, especially in your pocket. You're like, man, my it's burning my, my pocket because all those apps were running the entire time your phone's on. But Greenify, it silences those apps. I've said it multiple times. I'll say it one more time. That app is no longer running the entire time your phone's on until you manually go in your app drawer and you open that up manually. So you don't want to, anything that you rely on, like alarm clock, like your Facebook widget or your uh, extended controls widget, widgets like those, you, d you do not want to greenify those. Otherwise, the widgets won't work correctly. Apps that you rarely ever use or apps that you know you're only going to manually open yourself, greenify them. 
Um, my Nexus 5 has never seen better battery life. I installed Greenify on my Note 3, Note 2, my S4, my Nvidia Shield. I'm going to keep installing Greenify on every single Android device that I have because there's not a single Android device in my home that's not rooted. It's just, it's just that simple. Greenify is amazing. Your phone will feel brand new. You won't need to reset it and not have any apps installed in order to have great battery life. I'm telling you, once you download this app, you install it, and you get it set up and working, you're going to be in heaven. You're going to love your phone all over again. I'm telling you what, this app is amazing. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe for many more videos on the Note 3, Nexus 5, the Moto G. I got that coming tomorrow. Got some more stuff coming today, tomorrow, and Monday. Freaking just nonstop videos. So if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. You won't regret it. Also, I invite you to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's how you'll know when I'm working on a video. I almost always post on Twitter saying, hey, I'm working on a video. Or I post a picture on Instagram that kind of hints towards the fact that I'm making the video. So if you like my videos and you want to stay up to date with me, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I also have Vine, Google+, uh, other YouTube channels, etc. All those will link, be linked in the description as well as links to the exposed framework, which again, you you can just go to the Greenify donation package app and download it from there. Uh, and also the Greenify app. So links to everything will be in the description below. You'll have to click where it says show more to expand it and see all the links. This is what would Josh do? And I'm out.